Hey everybody, it's Coach Cab with Five Star Hoops. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's share the game. In this video, we're going to continue our breakdown of an earlier video I did on drop, pick, and roll coverage from Vince Bills, a team I'm studying out of Latvia during their Euro Cup schedule. In the first video, we looked specifically at clips from the first half of one of their games, and today we'll be looking at each clip from the second half. Be sure to check the description box for a link to that video. A quick review on the goal of drop coverage is where the defending guard in a pick and roll will fight over the top of the screen while the defending big plays soft or drops to contain the drive, buying time for the guard to recover, forcing tough mid-range shots or contested shots at the rim. One of the tough reads or teaching points in drop coverage is when the big releases back to his man and doesn't overcommit to the guard, which often results in a late switch. And as you can see here, in this case, the switch is a little too late. One nice adjustment made from the first half to the second half in this game are the point guards having a little more patient, allowing things to develop, and here it keeps the defender in jail on his back and ends up in really nice paint touch position, allowing for either a kick to shooters or a score. One of the big differences in the second half from the first half was how many times Vince Bill's guards were actually caught getting tangled up in the screener. Now this might have something to do, you could argue, with the 20 point lead and a little bit of dip in concentration or effort. Nevertheless, Beirut finds a little bit more success in the second half, in large part due to Vince Bill's guards constantly getting hit by the screen. Here we see a clean over due to a slip from the offense. The defender to regain position and force a tough two. See the defending guard once again caught on the screen, but a better job by the offensive guard showing more patience creating an angle and scoring with an and one. In this clip, we see just a defensive breakdown with no communication from the big to the guard, except the offense doesn't recognize and can't make the defense pay for their breakdown. In this possession, Beirut got a sequence of two drop coverage opportunities, a good job on the first one, but the guard gets caught on the second one, leading to a wide open jumper and one of the best looks that they saw all second half. Another questionable defensive decision or potential breakdown here is once the ball is dead and the coverage did its job, they unnecessarily switch, little on big, and the point guard is bullied into the post. No help to be found from his teammates. A nice adjustment from the offense late in the third quarter was to set their slot ball screens higher up the floor, leading to more space for the guard to attack a backpedaling big. We see a similar opportunity here except the defense does a really good job neutralizing the situation leading to a switch, except this time the help comes, leading to a kill. Early in the fourth quarter, we see rescreen opportunities with the big diving hard at the basket. And once we get to this point, it's essentially a jump ball with the much taller player clearly having the advantage. And late in the game, we see a very similar clip to the first possession we saw in this video, except this time the offense draws a foul. Here we see again a much shallower pick and roll which congests the space and allows the defense to contain things leading to another switch and a decent look from the offense but misses the point blank layup. Another adjustment here late is going to a horns look trying to get the on ball defender to guess a little bit but again a really nice job containing the first event but in the second pick and roll in the possession the point guard goes underneath and leads to a wide open jumper. We can see towards the end of the game that Beirut actually has a little bit more success in running their pick and rolls against the drop coverage. However, we do have to wonder how engaged Vince Bill's defense is up 20 with only a couple of minutes left in the game. And that might lead to a little bit of the decision making, the effort, or the breakdown. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe below. Click the links in the description box for more to see what we're doing at Five Star Hoops. Also, be sure to check out the link for the first half video on drop coverage in this game and be on the lookout for some offensive adjustments to drop coverage that we'll be breaking down a little bit later. Until next time, take care.